Hey everybody, it is Glider Cat and it is time to play. Let's get back into it. We are expanding our steel beam construction because we've identified that as being a huge bottleneck for us. We've got, uh, let's get this guy. Why is this guy not smoking? Okay, now, yeah, now what's going on? Power, right? Power. Is that the problem? Nope. It looks like the problem at the moment is more assemblers. So we need more level two assemblers. These guys are slow to process these beams. We could probably squeeze one more in here on this side, actually. That might be worth doing because uh, we're going to need several. Let's do that. Let's take the time and do it. I'll do the solar when it gets light out. Um, Let's expand this out a bit and just see if we can squeeze in one more assembler on this side. I guess we can just take this all the way over. These belts don't have to be on building blocks. I think I can get one more in now. I've been spacing these out, three in the middle. I'll stick to that. Boom, uh, one, two, three in the middle. That looks fine. Easy, easy, easy. Let's bring this belt. The boom. Where's our loader? Right at the first spot. All right. Rotate. There's your input. And I want you to make steel beams. I know you're going to need power. Intake is right here. And let's make sure that's set correctly. It is. Whoops, 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 that's output. Cool. Well, I wish it was compressed like that all the time, 24 hours. But again, these guys take a while to process. And I've got tons of, of uh, whatever those are. What do they call those things? Ingots, steel ingots. All right, let's strap more belts down, or more assemblers. Sorry for the hopping around. It's just I can't walk over these belts with the version of the game I've got. Uh, I'm going to need to do some drilling. Let's get that out of the way. How far do we got to go? Oh, hopefully I don't fall down a pit here. This is probably far enough. Maybe I'll do it. I'll stay up on here just in case. I think I'm okay with um, with building blocks, right? Yeah. Got plenty of those. Drilling goes pretty quick now, so I haven't done really any of the kind of fast forwards with the music because I can't really fast forward it. Otherwise, you'll get dizzy watching this because it's uh, it's already pretty fast now with the advanced uh, mining drill. Especially on this these materials here, this grass or whatever this is. Dirt. Where am I going? Where am I going? Yeah, I want to do what, four more rows of this. I'm just staying up here because we got that pit, uh, as you can see, over here. So I must have covered this up with dirt at some time, unless the world rendered that way. It may have. All right, one more, and then we'll drop our building blocks down and probably at least two assemblers, maybe three. That would be nice if that could reach. All right, I do like how we can place these uh, base building blocks. It's just really quite nice. All right, let's hop on the belt. Our here's fine too, three apart. Go into the backpack. I got plenty of level two assemblers, 15 of them. I don't think we'll use those all here, but I'm probably going to go at least two more, right? That would be five total, which means more power. We got to get serious about power and we'll do that. I got 20 and 20 solar power or solar panels and batteries in my back pocket. Well, I can't even set the recipe because the power is so bad. All right. That's next. Looks 
looks like we're going all the way here. So I'll just make this look right. How am I doing on loaders? Oh, I got plenty. I made a ton of those apparently. All right, these should be set to output, even though I can't set a recipe yet. All right, that gets us five. We'll see how we do when we're fully powered up. Now, let's go amp up our power. I'm going to continue with my current pattern of just making these long arrays. I do that. I think I'm doing that because it's a little faster. Looks like I messed up this power pole here. It should be back one more. Uh, we'll fix that in a minute. Let's see. I need, I need to do a fair amount of expansion here. So let's get to it. This is going to be, this is a fairly big platform. All right. That's as much as I can see. Let's do a little bit more. All right. Nice, 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 nice. All right, we got two rows of solar panels. And I've got 20 on me, is that right? 20, yep. We're going to do them. We're going to do 10 on each side. Two more. How am I doing on base building blocks? I do chew through them pretty darn quick when you do this. But we can get more easy enough now that we've got them kind of automated. It helps quite a bit. All right. I lost my count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Here's nine. There's 10, again, as I've mentioned about a dozen times in the last episode, I wish I could use the other ones, but they're the new, the higher level ones, but I just don't have science pack fours going. And by the time I get them going, <laughs> there's a good chance we're not going to need solar panels anymore. But we'll see. We could still do some upgrades, right? Even when we're done, we get the statue up, the end game statue, we could, uh, or monument, we could still try out a few things. Ooh, I'm going to be short on power poles. Let's uh, see, can I craft power poles? Uh, I can get nine more. We'll see how far that gets us. I'm a little concerned about that. All right, it's every other one. And they are right there. All right. You, you, you. Yeah, that'll stink if we're short power poles. It's one of those things. It's like I usually forget to craft them at all. Boom, boom, boom. So I try to craft a bunch at a time, but we're burning through them here. Might be okay. We'll just have to see. All right. Power pole there. I got to clean up that other power pole. It looks kind of bad. Whoops. It'd be easier to do in the daylight. So we'll probably get to that once I wire this, all these solar panels up. We'll go fix that other power pole that's messed up. You to you. I should be good on cable. I made a bunch of that. We still have almost a hundred left. All right, let's get the panels wired in. This takes a little bit of time.
Oh, not what I wanted to do. Shoot. All right. Uh, demolition node. How do I do this again? I always forget how to do this. Target the object containing the high voltage cable you want to remove. Here, this guy. Okay. Done. Let's do reconnect. Okay. These are connected. Just this last guy here. Boom. boom. And let's go this route. This side. Boom to boom. Do you. Do you. Do you. Cool. I think that's it. Everybody, I'm just looking at the panels here as I run down this column. And it looks like everybody is lit up. So that is good for us. That means everything is connected. Cool. Now we got to do the batteries. Or no, we're going to fix that one thing, right? Let's just take a look at how this guy's hooked up. He's hooked up to just three batteries. That's not too bad. We just need to move them back one. So that's not a big deal. You to you. You to you. You over to you. Okay, and now we need to get 20 batteries down. So, yeah, we'll see these are a bit more compressed than the uh, solar panels. It'll take up as much space. And I put them back to back. Could do that with the solar panels. No reason not to, really. Just kind of style. This should help, boy. It'd be nice to see that steel ingot line, or steel beam line, I should say, saturated. Because I know we're going to need those, a lot of those. And then we still have to solve a problem with the machinery parts. Because uh, the steel beams aren't actually the problem with the machinery parts. We just have one single assembler trying to supply two different lines or three different lines with machinery parts. I got one more battery and let's see, how am I doing on base building blocks? Okay, I might be able to make some more of those actually. Uh, let's do it. Might as well use up that stuff I have in my inventory. Where are those anyway? Do, 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 do here. Yes, I went by them. Where are they? Why am I not seeing the obvious? It's probably right in front of my face. Belts, belts. Where are those? Why am I not seeing these guys' base building blocks? Can I not construct those? Oh, they're way down here. Got to scroll now. Okay. Oh yeah, I can build one. Awesome. Perfect. Just what I need. One single block. All right. Anyway, let's see if I can extend this out. I think I've got enough. We'll find out. Probably going to probably going to fall in the process. Let's just get this so I can at least snap in. How far can I go? Might not be able to go the whole distance. Let's just, uh, well, I got him on me. We're going to go back to the main factory probably after this anyway. Boom. Good. Let's get that last battery drop down and wired. And then we'll be done with this, hopefully. And we'll check the production on the steel beams. It's got to help, right? It's got to help. All this 20, 20 and 20, it's got to help. All right, I got nine power poles left. So remind me to get more of those. 
And how are we spacing these? One, two, three, four, five, six in between. Two, three, four, five, six. Probably going to mess this up. And I'm standing on the edge as usual. I hate to say it, there's probably a good chance I mess this up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wow. Maybe, maybe that's right. I guess, does it line up with these? Is that, was that the intention? No. Or at least it doesn't line up with them. All right, let's start wiring them up and we'll see where I screwed up. If I screwed up. Oh, let's wire them together first. That's always the thing that's easy to forget. All these power poles. Hopefully I did that on the other side. It looks like I did. Oh, there you go. Off this side. As per usual. Let me just double check this. Yeah, these all look wired up. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, batteries. I think I have a couple transformers in my pocket. We'll probably drop those down as well. And I should be good on cables for this task. I think that's right, right? Three, three. Oof, is this right? I don't know, that looks like a bit of a reach. Well, we'll see. It's gonna work, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. It may not be perfect, but it's gonna be functional and hopefully be something we don't have to augment for a while. All right, I think I actually got those. Let me put a power pole up in the tree. Okay, let's see. Looks good. I'm just going to scan these panels real quick and make sure everybody looks like they're powered in or connected up. They do. So I think we're good. We'll check the power network display as well. Oh, no power source is connected. That's not good. What's going on? Is this whole thing messed up? It might be. What is going on? No power source. That one's connected so maybe that's our problem there's a break here right here where this tree is oh, all those batteries are not hooked up to anything <laughs> oh boy that's not good it's not good at all that may have been part of our problem so i didn't see any comments pointing out that i missed that so i blame the viewers not myself for missing that All right, let's see what it says now. 34 solar panels and 29 batteries. Uh, the odd number on the batteries is a little concerning, but but we don't really do those mirror image, so that's probably fine. We're producing now almost, well, it varies here. We're not quite double the power consumption at peak. We're only 8.08. .08. Our transformers are, are fine. We've got plenty, but I'm going to drop a couple more because that's just what I do. I guess we're going every other power pole. I don't have many power poles left to do this with. Uh, so maybe we're going to change our pattern a little bit. What is the pattern? These were probably supposed to be lined up with those, but this one isn't. 
Well, hmm, I'm crazy about that. I don't want to rewire this one. Oh, that's no big deal. Let's uh, let's pop one here. We'll get rid of this guy. This won't take long. And I'm going to drop one more down. Kind of in this line and meeting up with this guy like that. Right? That's our last power pole. So we need to remember to make more of those when we get back to the main factory. Wire that up. We will drop dude here. We're going to use both of these just for funds. Okay, that's wired in. We're going to move this guy back one, right? Yep. We'll just take care of this. This takes a second. Not a big deal. Boom. Wire, wire. And... Boom. Wire and wire. All right. Again, take one more look at the network. And now we got 20 megajoules of transformer power. That's more than enough, as usual. Our solar panels, panels are all online. Our batteries are all finally online. And a bunch looks like they weren't online for a very long time. Unless it was just that one power pole I moved. Maybe that was it. I can't remember. But we're in a lot better shape now. Let's go take a look. Boy, everything takes so much time. Let's go take a look at old Smokey over here and see how we're doing. Not great. Look at that. That's not great. That is not great. Oh, man. Oh, we got to pick recipes. That's one of the reasons why, right? Um, when we didn't have power, we couldn't set recipes on here. Now we can. Yes, please. And yes, please. And that guy is set. So that's five. I'm not swept off my feet. It's better, but it's almost there, right? It's almost fully compressed. I think we can put one more assembler down. We can almost put two. Jeez. How are these guys doing? Easily put one more assembler down. How's our incoming supply? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Another thing we've got to go update. I don't like it. Uh, let's do, let's throw down another assembler quick and run down and chase down our Ignium ore and see if we need to, uh, pop down another drone miner or something. We got some time. Let's get it done. Okay. Three apart. Boom, boom. Place it. And loaders over here. Last spot. Boom. Intake. Set the recipe, steel beams. Boom. And then a little bit of belt. I'm surprised we used all this belt. Uh, we used up a lot of belt. We only got 450 left. Loader. Boom. And then make sure that's output. And then we can skedaddle out of here and just... Say it is what it is. Um, it is greatly enhanced. Is it going to compress that belt? I don't know. I mean, it's looking pretty good right now. We'll just see. Hope. Yeah, see, we're going to come up a little bit short. Darn, look at that. But let's go chase down the possible cause of that. And that is this ore here. I think it's our ignium, right? Let's go chase this down. And this is not surprising. I think I touched on this before. My 
my factory development style or approach always results in this and it's uh you know chasing down the shortages when they pop up so i usually don't over you know put down too much over capacity especially when it's the first time i'm playing a new game i'm just really racing to see as much of the game as possible so this isn't a big problem right assuming we have power now this is a this is our tiny outpost right yeah this is really a small one you know what's gonna happen here we're gonna run out of power i know it i know it all of these batteries are good all we're doing is drone miners that's it uh we can upgrade that drone miner we get level one belts oh man i do not want to run level two belts that whole way i'd have to do it between episodes if we wanted to amp that up but we've got room here for more drone miners let's uh i got a little bit of platform here Let's drill this out and make it look a little tiny bit better. Um, and let's change. Hmm. Let's change the outputs. Does that guy need to be moved forward? See, I don't know if they can, the drone miners will go underneath, like go, even if they can get to it, will they go underneath? And mine the ore? I imagine they might. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave him there. I'm going to get take that up, though. Maybe move it over a spot. Let's just see. Let's just see where the uh, where we can get the most production out of these. Got plenty of these guys on me. Okay, 93 mineable blocks in range. 103, 111, 114. So let's do 103 and let's do this guy here. I'm going to drill out another little row of dirt and put down blocks. And that's going to be where our output belt is. We can get rid of this. And yeah, we may, we may want to uh, upgrade that belt at some point to a level two. Could do it between episodes. I'm not super enthusiastic about it. Is uh well let's see, can I upgrade on top? Let's see, what does it say? Okay, click to replace every conveyor line. Belts and slopes. Hold control L. So let's see if I can do it. Um 243 belts and 21 slopes. I've got level twos of everything. It might just do it, right? So I haven't tried this feature yet. I've heard of it mentioned. I never saw it. So it just popped up. Let's see if we can do it. I just click. Boom. Look at that. I guess I don't need to do it between episodes. That is sweet. That is really, really awesome. I don't know if in Factorio you can even do it that easy. It's been a while since I've played, so they may have added that. Thinking about doing Factorio on the channel, by the way. Um, I just started playing it a little bit last night uh, with the uh, with the SpaceX exploration mod. Of course, I haven't gotten to that content yet because I've only played for a couple hours. All right, let's see. Is this the right one? Damage inventory. Yeah, drum miner two. Is the color threw me off a little bit. We're still not saturated. Is it power? What's the issue, fellas? Or is it just that we increase the uh, belt speed? Could easily do another. In fact, we could do it over here somewhere if we want. I guess we should throw one more down. Let's see how our power is holding up. We're at nighttime. Oh, look at that. We've got 93% battery capacity. So these guys don't chew up much power, apparently. Drone miners. That looks really good power wise. I like it. Let's see, I don't have any extra batteries or anything. I do not. I'm tempted to throw another drone miner. We have them with us. Let's do it. I'm going to drill this out because we're going to need the power. I'm just going to move it over this way where I can place it. <laughs> where I have, uh, I guess it's four, right? Is the footprint of those things. 
I got just enough building blocks. So this hopefully is going to turn out to be a productive episode. If we get this done, uh, this might not be the best placement, but we're going to do it. Perfect. 87. Yeah, it's not the best placement ever, but it kind of, nope, nope. I got to go back one more. Shoot. I got to come. I got to come back. Let's. It may actually improve things. Let's drill this out. You boom. All right, drone miner, where are you here? 96. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. All right. It's got power. Let's bring this belt through here. This should help. This should help. Again, this is all about the steel beams. All this work, this whole entire episode is about steel beams. Um, but indirectly, it may end up helping our advanced machinery parts work because uh, that's made from steel beams as well. So let's see, how are we doing? Three drone miners still can't keep that fully saturated. it's yeah there it goes it's starting to back up all right i like it i think that's good for now let's yeah i'm sure we're good now this is this is a huge improvement let's head back up and just take a quick look we know the belt saturated right because it's backed up here but i'm just curious to see those steel beams if that belt is saturated yet or not we're in kind of the middle of the night time here, so that's not a bad time to check uh, and see if our power is holding up. I see clouds of smoke here. That's a good sign. How are we doing? Nice. Nice. I like what I see. I like what I see. We are chewing through all of the xenoferrite ingots that are coming through. The belt is not as saturated as I'd like. The only way to solve that is another blast furnace. We've got the ore. We've got the ingots, xenoferrite ingots. And we've got, I think we've got all the assemblers we need. Right? Because these guys are just running out of xenoferrite ingots to process. So one more blast furnace would really do it. I can't construct one. We're out. The episode's over. I don't have resources. This may be enough to get us by for a good while, actually. Power. Ooh, why are these guys not smoking? Are we out of power? No power. Look at that. Our power did not hold up. Well, we may need to make one more trip over here. I hate to do that. We're spending a lot of time storing up existing production. Yeah, we are out of power. Now, it could be next cycle. These batteries charge up and we make it through. Let's not worry about it. Let's let this be for now. It could be that we haven't had a full day's charging because uh, all of those batteries were cut off or mo the majority of the batteries that we put down were cut off from, the, uh, from being able to be charged during the last daytime. So I think we'll wrap this episode here. Next episode, we'll head back over to the main factory, stock up. We need everything. We need belts. We need building blocks. We need solar panels, as always, it seems like, lately. And uh, I think we've got all the Olamite processing stuff we need. So hopefully we can get a good start on that next episode. We've shored up the main factory last episode. We shored up our steel production this episode, steel beam production. So 
hopefully we're in good shape. We'll go tackle the Olamite unless we find something along the way that just drastically needs or urgently needs our attention. For now, this is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. I appreciate having you along in this journey of Foundry. First Let's Play season. We'll do more, I think. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think of the game, what you think of the series, what you think of the channel. If you have any suggestions, pop them in the comments or email me. You can find my email address on the about page of my YouTube channel. But again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.